Hey guys, it's Calvin Tahan. This is a weekly Monday update being recorded and actually posted on, I don't know if you can see the sunshine right now, but this is a Tuesday. So this is the Monday update recorded on on Tuesday. I, I would like to apologize for that, for the lateness of this video, which mostly due to um, my being in Richmond, actually. I was in Richmond for regionals, and I went there to chill with some friends at VCU College, went to regionals. Terrible weekend overall. I have a, I actually have another video that will be posted later this week whenever I find the camera that it's recorded on. One of my friends has it. I don't know who. It's a video of me opening two booster boxes of Extreme Victory and kind of failing. Boxes were terrible. I pulled an Orthros. I, I mean, you'll see. I pulled, I didn't pull anything good. For two boxes, I probably pulled about $60 worth of cards all together. So that, I, that happened before the regionals, and that happened after. It took me four hours to get to Richmond. I don't know if you guys know Virginia. The, like the geological shape or size of, Virgi of Virginia, but it took me four hours to get from Springfield, which is, you know, about 90 miles north of Richmond, down to Richmond. It shouldn't take you four hours to get anywhere in Virginia from any point. I mean, maybe if you're going from the southern, the southwesternmost point to like the north, to like Virginia Beach or something, it might take you like six hours on a good day, but there's no way from like the like the mid tip of Virginia getting into the middle point, Richmond, it should not take four hours. There was a ridiculous amount of traffic. There was a lot of misplaying on my part with wrong turns and just badness altogether. So that was a terrible way to start the weekend. I got to I got to VCU College, which is where I was sleeping for the night, you know, really late that night. We decided to open some packs, said I didn't pull anything good. So that was very, very disappointing. So two things that happened then, it was bad, I pulled I pulled nothing from my packs, and the road trip was awful in itself. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go in tomorrow at least, have fun. I actually went there with the intention of becoming a bounty. Um, a topic on Pojo that like I had expressed interest in, it seemed kind of promising. I had some friends backing me up, a lot of judges were backing me up too. But unfortunately, the bounties were sort of rigged for Richmond, as I'm sure they are everywhere. You know, the staff had already selected the few that they wanted to... And even though they claimed that there were spots open and that you could apply for these positions, those spots were claimed too. And so it was really ridiculous. I got there early. I was all excited for that. I was dressed up, looking like a champ with a tie and everything. Sort of trolling, but I had sunglasses. But that didn't work out either. So I was like, okay, I'll do well in the tournament. Maybe get another mat because, you know, I like mats. I have one Akaias mat and a YCS mat. So adding a third one to my, you know, rapport of mats would be great. And that didn't happen. I, I went in with a scrap deck that I was very confident in. Uh, I liked this deck. It was very fun to play. I thought it was very promising. It had very promising results at locals. You know, it was undefeated. So I went there, won game one. I was like, yes, awesome. Round one was a win. Going into game round two, I, I was at the top table against my friend Jorge, actually, who's from Northern Virginia. And he, he ended up getting ninth place. And the deck he ran was Giga Vice with like Giga Plant, and he just ran like a really stupid deck that like, he's always run. He always runs this deck, and it's really terrible. And he always like wins with. It. I don't know if he stacks. I, I, if you're watching the video, like I'm not accusing you of anything, dude. Uh, you did very well. He got ninth place, so he went on to win, and I went on to lose out, scrub out, which was fine because I was like, you know what? I'll get my mat another way. I'll run this very awesome scrap deck. It didn't do well in the tournament, but it should do well in the loser bracket of the winner mat tournament which I entered and quickly lost the first round of. And so I was very depressed. Everything was going wrong that day. I wasn't getting any trades. Attempting to get super snowman eaters, which no one would trade me either. So Richmond was just going terribly. I know this is this video is just mainly composed of me complaining. I entered a second win mat, and I was like, you know what? All right, Scrap Deck's not working, and I'm tired of losing to bad kids. Because that, that's what was frustrating to me the most. I wasn't losing to good players who had talked consistently. I was losing to bad kids who didn't even know half the effects of their own cards that they're running half the effects of the other cards that they're running, just, like, any rulings, you know, they play cards out of order, they would, like, summon set five and then use duality, I'm like, you're doing it wrong, and I'm losing to these kids because I'm getting sacked, and so it was very disappointing uh, to me, and so I said, okay, going to the second win I'm at, I'm going to run Fish OTK, and I'm going to just waddle all of these kids that I'm losing to, I'm going to blow them out of the water, and I did, I destroyed some kid round one, I destroyed some kid round two, and I destroyed a kid round three, I was dominating that win at. And then I get sacked round four, close, uh, like, you know, going into the semifinals, I get sacked by a bad kid. It's not a good... F uh, my friend actually ends up winning that winning mat, my friend uh, Jay. He wins the mat, so that's great. He wins it with Gravekeepers. A for lack of skill, that's winning. Um, so this is mainly a rant. Richmond was terrible. Everything that could have gone wrong went wrong. To top it off, the next day at Locals, I was trying to bounce back. I was sort of like, okay, so that went wrong. Let's make a good 
Let's make it like a good um, stance back in Springfield. I ran counter fairies at locals. I made semifinals for the box tournament and I got raped. So that made me sad because I wanted the box because it was four turbo pack five, which would have made me very happy because I would have gotten a crap load of stone eater supers. That didn't happen either. So the weekend overall was bad. But I know a lot of you expressed interest in knowing what I think the top decks of the meta are. And judging by Richmond and just overwhelming amounts of decks I've seen, I have two decks for you that are just insane, you know, not unbeatable. There's no tier zero deck right now. Even, even even these two tier one decks, they are beatable by either drawing dead or being outplayed through. Mostly drawing dead because they do draw awesome half the time and like win first turn. But these decks are Samurais, and I'm not talking about regular Samurais. I'm talking about these Samurais that have built correctly run Dojo, they run Squire, they can go first turn Sheehan, first turn Barkeon, first turn Naturia Beast. And so if they get all three of those, or they get two of those, first turn Beast, you know a lot of people don't know this, Beast is a lot is a lot better of a play than a first turn Sheehan. Because it's really hard to follow up to a first turn beast. Sheehan, you can bait it with, like, you know, a book and then dark hole it. Beast, there's not much you can do except set back rows, and they'll already have their warnings and solemn set. And so Samurai's is a very strong aggro deck right now. The consistency of jo Dojo, it texts Squire, it texts that, the other card, that one legendary level 3, one 400 attack that you run with Ascension of the Six Samurai. So you build the deck properly, which I'm actually going to tell you how in a future video. That deck is tier 1. Um, without a doubt, the best deck in the format, although it's also tied with a deck that I like to call... Well, I didn't name this deck, but my friend named it. Um, he ran it, and the deck is called Tengu Plants. It's basically plants. It revolves around Reborn Tengu. You just pot an Avarice it back in. Tengu abuses it so hard. There are so many Trishula plays that you can make with the deck. And what's important about this deck is that it's not it's not Chaos Plant-based. There's no Caius, there's no Sorcerers. Uh, and it does run Titanial, so it wins mainly through Titanial Abuse, where you get all your tokens, and just Tengu coming back and pack again. And of course, all the Synchro plays. And it's very consistent. I'm actually running the deck on Duelist Network. I would like to take this portion of a video, and maybe maybe just a huge portion of another video, to talk about Dueling Network, because Dueling Network is awesome. It's a website, it's a, it's a lot like YVD, except better, because you don't have to download a client, you don't have to constantly update it, and it's just better than YVD Virtual Desktop. So if you want to play test, go down to the link that I will post in this video, duelingnetwork.com. You don't have to download anything, you just have to have an updated version of Java slash Adobe, whatever. It's great. Every card's accessible, you can duel anybody, you can duel me, I'm there almost every day. And I've been testing out this Tengu Plants deck, I'm within the top 200 players on that site, only, and I've only been playing for two days. The deck's gone like 30 and 10. It's ridiculous. It's really good, and I got the deck list. You know, I tweaked it up a little because I hate net decking. I, ch I changed like two or three cards, but my friend Calvin, yeah, my name's Calvin, but his name's Calvin with a K. He goes to my locals. He top six did. He top six Richmond with Tengu Plants, and so congratulations to him. We're actually going to profile his deck. He's going to be here with me um, later this week, as well as my friend Daniel, who got second. He ran that six samurai deck I'm talking about. So, you know... Three, actually, three of my friends from Northern Virginia top aided Richmond, which is great. Two of them go to my locals, um, so it's awesome. We're probably going to profile both of their decks so you guys can see what a top tier deck really looks like. So we have Samurais and Tengu Plants, Trishula spamming. Once Librarian hits, um, Tengu Plants is going to be the nuts. It's probably going to blow Samurais out of the water, but, uh, you know, first turn, Naturi Beast and Sheehan is still very hard to get around. Psychics is also a good deck to watch out for. There wasn't any in top, so it's not a tier 1 deck, but it's developing. People are learning how to play it. It has some great OTKs, and if you don't OTK with it, you just set up B uh, Beast Barkeon, and you're good first turn. It's, uh, it's really weak to Valor, though, so it might not be that good, but as an FTK, OTK deck, uh, Psychics is good. But I still put Tengu Plants as tier 1 and Samurai's as tier 1. So if you're looking for any future YCSs, watch out for that. Again, as a recap, I sucked at Richmond. As a recap, Dueling Network is awesome. Uh, my username is Calvin Tahan. You know, that's not the fake. If you see me, that's the real me. I'm running Tengu plans, running Fish OTK, whatever you want me to run. You can play me anytime. I'm almost always on. I'll be on right after I post this video all day, every day. Um, it's a great way to play test. So yeah, just see me there, I guess. If you have any questions, as I said before, the, the box opening and me opening boxes will be posted later this week. Deck profile, my friend Calvin Harrigal's what is it called, Tengu Plant deck, that'll be up, and my friend Daniel Duong's um, Samurai deck will be up. Both of these deck tops aided Richmond, they're awesome, so I will profile both of those next week. Please stay tuned for both of those videos. Please watch f future videos. I would like to apologize for the lateness of this video. Um, that's all I have to say for this week. Well, not for this week. I promise more videos will be up this week, you know, the videos I just talked about. But this is the recap. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Calvin Tahan out.